In this video, I want to once again take a look at some pretty solid physical PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game deals that are available right now. I know a lot of you guys do like your games physical, so we'll take a look at that. Gamefly has a pretty solid used game sales with a couple of notable deals, and also some stuff on Amazon. And I do want to note something a little bit interesting about Little Nightmares 2 at the end of this video. Sold out on Amazon, going for a slightly inflated price on eBay right now, so I do want to make you guys aware of that. I don't think this is like an out of print game but maybe it's just selling better than bandai namco had initially expected and yeah for whatever reason sold out on amazon we'll talk that at the end of this video and i'll point you guys to where you can get it for the regular price okay first of all Gamefly is having a little used game sale right now, and it's pretty good, all things considered. There's some pretty notable deals. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is $28, so this hasn't been going on sale, really, for a um, new copy of the game. And $28, I think, is pretty good. Maybe that $50 initial price point was a little bit higher than I would have liked. Like, if Miles Morales was $40, I think that would be really good um i paid 70 for the playstation 5 ultimate edition but nevertheless uh 28 bucks for it i think is pretty good obviously it's not as expansive of an experience as the regular spider-man but it's still a very very good game and you can upgrade it to the playstation 5 version by the way miles morales on the playstation 5 ooh, it's excellent uh but if you do play it on the playstation 4 from what i've heard from friends playing it um it's pretty good on there too but the playstation 5 upgrades are awesome so if you don't have a ps5 yet when you're ready to get one you can upgrade also falling into that same category, Sackboy A Big Adventure, $34.99. I think that's quite good. Uh, another game that maybe at $60 was a little bit too expensive. I'm a sucker for Sackboy, though. I love Little Big Planet. And this is some great platforming gameplay. If you're a fan of platformers, I think you'll really enjoy it. Once again, this is upgradable to PlayStation 5. So if you want to check it out there, you will ultimately have that option as well. I think $35 for the game is a much better, you know, pickup than at $60. So give that a look if you are interested. Some other deals that are here. Mafia Definitive Edition for $17.99 I think is pretty solid. A ground up remake of Mafia 1. Pretty good. Not perfect, but Mafia 1 was pretty darn good. I believe it's on sale on the uh, PlayStation Store right now as well if you would like a digital copy. Skater XL is $18, which is uh, kind of decent. Terminator Resistance is $35, which that will be getting a, a uh, PlayStation 5 upgrade at the end of April, I believe. Um, so if you do want to pick that up now, you can do that. Spirit of the North is down $12.99, which I actually think is a pretty good pickup for a physical copy of that game. Uh, this should be noted, Yakuza Like a Dragon is $30, and you get a PS5 upgrade with that. A lot of people are getting duped, and they're getting the PlayStation 5 copy of the game for $60. Like, if you go on Amazon, you can buy the PlayStation 5 version for, like, $60, or they have, like, a new PlayStation 4 copy for $40. Just buy the PlayStation 4 copy and upgrade it, and you'll be good to go, unless you want that PS5 case so badly. And honestly, sometimes I do want dumb stuff like that, like, I want, like, the uh, Yakuza a ps5 case or something stupid like that but i really don't think uh, you guys should be in that position you're just throwing away money at that point 30 bucks for yakuza like a dragon however is a really good buy just a zany zany game retains all the quirkiness of yakuza and i know some people were going into it expecting something a lot different yes it's different in the gameplay sense but the wackiness is still absolutely there i mean when you have the crazy summonings that yakuza like a dragon does i mean i'm all on board at that point like you just just go look up the summonings to this game and tell me it's not amazing Amazing. But 30 bucks for it is pretty darn good. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, $28. Played quite a bit of this on PlayStation uh, 5. And I had a pretty good time with it. I didn't do like, I didn't 100% it or anything like that. But thought at 60 FPS, it looked great. Uh, PlayStation 4 version is comparable performance to the other Assassin's Creed titles from what I've heard. But if you do upgrade it to PS5, it's pretty darn good in terms of that. This was actually one of the first PS5 games I really delved into. I know, like for me, I've been memeing on Assassin's Creed for a while ever since the ship. But... Valhalla, I did honestly have a good time with it, and I like the setting. Is it, you know, completely my cup of tea? No, it still isn't. But I'm sure if you like the Assassin's Creed game since Origins, you're gonna have a good time with that, and I had a pretty good time with it. Hunt Showdown for 15 bucks, I think is really good. If you got a couple of friends to jump in it uh, with, um, you're gonna have a really good time with Hunt Showdown, and $15, I think, is a great price. Sword Art Online, uh, Alice's Jason Licorice. Um, I haven't kept up with the SAO anime in quite a while. Uh, I did play quite a few of the SAO games, 
but 18 bucks for this seems eyed considering it's a relatively new release. Control Base Edition is 10 bucks. Hopefully, all of you got it from the Plus version. EA Sports UFC 4 for 20 bucks is actually pretty solid. So check that out if you're interested. Watch Dogs 2 for $10, I think, is quite good. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered for 20 bucks is I. FIFA 2120, Madden 2120 as well. And then you have like Empire of Sin, Wasteland 3 for 20. Uh, some pretty good deals all around. Honestly, the highlights are definitely Marvel, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Mafia Definitive Edition is on sale. Oh, 13 Remake is down to $17.99. Spoiler alert, don't buy that. I was so disappointed by the 13 Remake because I loved 13 back in the day. And this remake just wasn't it, Chief. It was just not a good remake at all. Even at that price point, I wouldn't really recommend it. Couple of other things to note. Also on the Gamefly sale, I should note quickly, uh, the Pathless for PS5 is down to 35 bucks. If you do want a new copy of that, Amazon has got it for 41 and change, so you can pick it up there. A couple of other deals, uh, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin is down to $29.99. This is $10 off, and this is a game that really, really got lost in the shuffle, and it's unfortunate because it's a really cool game. If you're a fan of, like, the Vanillaware titles, I think this is going to be something that you get into quite a bit, at least from a presentation standpoint, and I love the slick look of the game, detailed visuals, and I think for $30, it's a pretty good pickup. If you would like to pick up the Divine Edition, that is $5 off for $55. Um, yeah, so you can check that out. But one game that really got lost in the shuffle, and it's a little bit unfortunate, but those that played it really did dig it. So check it out for 30 bucks. I think that's pretty good. Okay, last thing I do want to note, Little Nightmares 2. Now, I haven't had a chance to delve into Little Nightmares 2. Yeah, I should probably smack myself for that one. Been hearing really good things about it. But randomly browsing, I noticed that Little Nightmares 2 was out of stock on a Amazon. Let me make sure that's the case still. Yeah, so it's out of stock all, uh, from Amazon directly. If you do want to buy it from Amazon, it's like from third parties, and it's like $50, $45, $50, and I was like, what is going on? So yeah, it's sold out. Then I checked eBay, and it's going for high 30s, low 40s, and that made me think, oh, the physical edition was just priced at $40. That's probably the regular price. And then I did a little bit more digging and I realized, oh no, Little Nightmares 2 was released on PSN and Steam for 30 bucks. The physical edition was also 30 bucks. There wasn't like an increase if you wanted the physical edition. So I would not be paying those uh, higher price points. It's available at GameStop for $30 and it's in stock right now. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's a short print. I don't know what is going on. But if you have any interest in Little Nightmares 2, the uh, physical copy of the game, um, I imagine they're going to do a restock at some point. I wouldn't think that this would be a game that for whatever reason would have a short print or something like that. Maybe Bandai Namco thought that the game wasn't going to have a ton, a ton of buzz. Uh, but it seemingly has sold really well. So good on them for that. And I've been hearing the game's really good. Little Nightmares 1 was fantastic. But yeah, just something I noticed and I figured some of you guys would be interested. I'll leave a GameStop link in the description box below if you do want to pick it up at GameStop. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later it is put back in stock on Amazon. And I do notice that the Xbox One version of the game is still on stock at Amazon. It's just the PlayStation 4 version and I believe the Nintendo Switch versions that are out of stock. The Nintendo Switch version is actually like $52, so yeah, wild. But hopefully that's remedied sooner rather than later. So that's going to wrap up this one, guys. Again, links to everything will be in the description box below, as always. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comments section down below. Slound off with all of your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.